So today I'm making something I want to call the minced meat soup. The minced meat soup. But it's going to be like a goosey soup, but it's basically made with minced meat. So it's just like an all-round protein soup. And um, these are my ingredients. I'm using minced meat. I'm using um, minced beef and uh, um, minced chicken. And I'm adding uh, like organ meats. This is like uh, I think it's uh, beef heart and uh, chicken heart. And then there's also my chicken drumstick. I'm using um, bitter leaf, dry bitter leaf that has been boiled, dried, and then I soaked it overnight with hot water. And then this morning I shredded it a bit more. But you can use any vegetable you want. I'll add this at the beginning, but if you use another vegetable, you can add it towards the end. And my dry parsley flakes, you can use fresh one too if you want. My crayfish, um, palm oil, adobo seasoning, my ginger, sea salt, pepper flakes. What is an African food without spice? And then some paprika. But you can use any spice you want that you would normally use in cooking your egg -busy soup and then some water. So let's get cooking. So I start by adding water to my Just gonna be a straightforward kind of soup. There's not too much ceremony in making this. And I add my meat, all the other meats. If you wanna use fish, you wanna use um, uh, what is it called? You wanna use stock fish, anything you want. If you're using another kind of vegetable, please add it at the end of the cooking. But because the bitter leaf is a tough um, vegetable, especially when it has been dried, I add it at the beginning to make it softer when the food is done cooking. So that is my bitter leaf. And this is. Um, Forget this. This is black pepper. Blended black pepper is like the Oziza seed in Nigeria. My crayfish that is blended with dry fish. My sea salt. I just add a bit of salt then. I might add some later. It's better to add your salt gradual because you don't know the taste at the end. My paprika tablespoon my ginger half uh, a tablespoon my red pepper crushed red pepper you just add a tablespoon right there and then my adobo seasoning the seasoning to taste so it's your choice why I like adding all my ingredients all the spices it's because of ch chicken, assuming I parboiled the chicken, I'm going to use um, spices to parboil it. But because it's not parboiled, I add the spices so that the chicken will not just be like tasteless when the soup is done. So the chicken can absorb the taste of the spice as it cooks. And this soup doesn't take long to cook. So what we're going to do now is um, bring it to a boil. Okay, so now I'm going to add my parsley. You can use any vegetable you want. You can use your ugu, your ginger, and 
You can use your ogu, your kale, your any vegetable you want, spinach, whatever vegetable. And then you can add a little bit of egusi if you want to help thicken it. Because once you start, it's going to be a bit um, watery. So if you don't have patience or you, you just use a little water for a start, but you have to watch it because of burning. But if you have the patience to wait for the water to cook out, then that's okay. So I'm not going to allow this vegetable to cook too much. Added a little bit of salt and pepper along the way. So this is it. Our minced meat egusi soup is ready. Nice. I can't wait to taste it.